you guys have used Google Forms before? You've created one or you've typed into, how about a survey monkey, you filled out a form? Okay. At least once a week, my students are using forms in some way. Answer reflective questions. This is where I use it probably the most, is I don't want to collect a bunch of papers with information, but I can have a form and I can go home and I can go through a whole list and see all these students and what they've said about whatever it might be that we're working on. And that, there I can gain an understanding of whether or not they, they're comprehending what we're doing in how class. Do you, how do you create it so that the student's correct information is there? So you, again, last name, first name, period, number. Okay, because I see you have the names, you have the columns of the names. Right, and I just hide it. Okay. Okay. So it depends if I want other people to know what people said, but generally, generally I'm not going to show students' names regarding their comments. Go ahead. How do you hide it? If you click on, if you're, hang on, go back down. So we're just looking at the columns. If we click out of the columns, there's nothing there. But if you click up here, there's a little triangle. And you can click on that, and then you would go to hide column. Hide column. And then if you want them back, you just click on this tab right here. If we go under, under format, you'd see a, a, a filter, and we'd be able to filter that out and, and put in the exact words that I'm looking for. And then it would highlight those ones. So now I know that these students had figured it out. How many of you guys are using Google Sites as your website? Okay, quite a few of you. So this is great. You can, you can insert a form and then show the results. I want other students to see other people's work. And also when we go to present, all the URLs are right on one page. And I can have a student go up in front of the classroom and sit at my computer while I'm in the back of the room enjoying the presentation.